joc cu Dumnezeu. Mă arătăm ia să nu vii. I think you have to destroy by clean of clothes. Hello, this is the point I was saying. I can be happy. Or that I can defend himself or the world. But I but I'm not saying that just for my community that that issue will arise. Does any of you have a problem with, with any of the, his wazes who will say the issue? My Lord, if the issue arose that a party says, I hey, don't want that present to be there or that other one, invariably, and this is communal justice, that person would pull out and get a mze, another mze, that everybody feels comfortable with. So that, my Lord, and I've appeared with you, I respect all of you absolutely. The petitioners are saying the circumstances of this matter is that we are unable to enjoy that confidence. But not when the petitioners were speaking about what they said they feel, like uh, is the three judge bench one in which uh, they, have, uh, they expect fair and square justice. That was the terminology in the case of Gerongori that we have attached on our, so, on our submission. That from the word go, a party appearing before the judges should be able to feel that we have a reasonable chances of success before, between those judges. But more importantly, that none of the judges is connected to the cause, one, to the cause, or to the individual in which you are in dispute with. My Lord, why is that important? That, my Lord, is important because since Saturday, of this week, in fact, up to yesterday. But the petitioner says they have been treated to a situation, and a lot of those information people have sent it to my phones because they have seen me on television. We where we have such a scenario that repeatedly they keep saying we are going to have a, a what is it called? We are going to have a swearing in as soon as these three judges leave those particular orders. But that cannot create confidence because assuming it is not this case, every party, and we have very many cases here, if somebody you are treating him in a bar says, no, you are going to lose that case before the persons we are here in the court, that, my lord, is a party. Parties are not lawyers, are not supposed to be sophisticated. That party will be left suddenly with a huge, huge problem as to whether actual justice is possible. And it might actually be, my lord, that when whenever else is there, the petitioners will win this case. As we expect, we shall win if the petition is hard. My lord, if that is the case, and that may actually be the case before you, but my lord, the scenario that is bad and that is prevented by the law is a scenario where the parties lose. Because they will say, well, you have the Abednasi who told us, Oscar Sushi told us, Kaliket told us, and all these individuals who are saying it was called drama. We are here for entertainment. But not if judges are supposed to be treated to entertainment, and those judges are supposed to stop that entertainment, but not, there is a problem on the face of it. There is a notice of appeal that we have filed, and it is part of a supplementary affidavit. In this notice of appeal, the Lordship, we have pointed the issue, and we have said one of the other issues of concern is that the judgment of this court that dealt with these other issues, that that judgment, the contents of that, amounted to preempting and answering the application that I'm arguing before the court. Because those issues we are submitting did not come from the respondents, but these applications having been filed, we are arguing these applications. After in a previous ruling of yesterday, we have effectively been responded by the court itself. The petitioner says that they are absolutely uncomfortable with that, and they cannot be able to say that if we have reached a situation whereby judges are answering our case in advance, it is absolutely bad and beyond repair. But now, the, sec the second last issue that I want to say is this. The issues, my Lord, is, and we expressed that concern yesterday, we were not sure whether we would even file a notice of appeal as counsel. But you are told you cannot file to file this one because it is the issue, as far as we are concerned, we were not treated fairly. 
we were accused, we are playing to the gallery, as a result of the accusations and uh, indictment that we are playing to the gallery, what effectively ended up being glossed over is the question of uh, it, 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 it's a question of our own submissions. And my Lord, the basis, and therefore the accusation, and we are saying we were not treated in a temperate and judicious manner. The petitioners and their advocates. Then, my Lord, we go to the deciding for purposes of yesterday, the core issue. My Lord, the core issue in our petitions, a number of them when it comes, would be the question, does the IEBC have the power to have authorized the president to say that he did it. I'm saying it is in our petition. I'm saying one of the issues that will be coming in for determination. My, 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 my lords, I think it is important to just help my learned friend. We are not having the substantive application. It's a recusal. Let him stick to the issues. Let him hear the issue and the answers. My but but just do the right thing. My lord, the point I was making is this, sir. Huh? One of the questions, I want to tie it with 165, and the question is this. The question that would be arising is whether the IEBC without commissioners could have declared Honorable Kindiki to be suitable for this nomination in the letter they did to the President. My Lord, that particular issue is significant because the petitioners are saying that this court, having effectively read Article 165.4 in a manner that amounts to amendment of Article 165.4, they perceive the real danger that when a more important question arises, the same logic would be applied against them. And they are saying, this being a very serious league of issues, the bench cannot be said that for purposes of the issues actually in contention, that the people can be oblivious of such an issue. I need like two or three minutes. My Lord, having said that, therefore, it is our submission. And as our Honorable Muta has said, nobody extracts any joy to raise this kind of an application because judges are legal points. But my Lord, the point that uh, we also want to add for purposes of this application, and this is, this is contained, I believe, in the affidavit of my clients, is of course to point out to the issue. But the Honorable the Deputy President, regarding Gashagwa, by a letter dated 23rd of October 2024, did file uh, a complaint against uh, all your lordships. And this complaint was acknowledged by the Judicial Service Commission that it has been received. Then there is an issue that required disclosure. According to the petitioners, I wasn't even aware of this, but I saw it today. According to the petitioners, is that uh, there is a very close relationship between one of your lordships, the Honorable Judge Nurima, and the Speaker of the National Assembly, who is uh, or the Speaker of the Senate, who is a, a member of here. That close relationship, according to the petitioners, is one that ought to have been disclosed so that parties could be able to make up their mind is that, uh, are you comfortable? And we do that every day. I've actually not proceeded in a number of matters for some of the judges who are my classmates saying, keep your this, you are close to a are you comfortable? That question ought to have been raised. That issue was not raised, and as a result of that issue not having been raised, and now having come to public notice, the petitioners are of the view that it would not be proper to be able to proceed in this matter. My Lord, in conclusion, what I would uh, my Lord, like before to add... My, before my learned friend concludes, I, I want you to be added at another minute. Could he please for, to assist us to respond, uh, set out the nature of that relationship and where it is expounded in the affidavit. Well, my Lord, I hope that can actually come during the response, as I say. No, 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 no. The duty, the burden of establishing facts is on the person pleading the facts. So we want to know 
that relationship so that we can respond to it. Yes, my lord. Uh, I, 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 I have no problem whatsoever. There is a written affidavit. My lord, uh, in uh, paragraph uh, 6 of the supplementary affidavit, it reads as follows. Whereas I was not aware about the relationship between the Honorable Justice Murima, who is among the three judges had in this matter, and the fourth respondent that is Hindi, it has been brought to my attention that the Honorable Judge and the fourth respondent, Speaker of the Senate, are very close friends as demonstrated as here under. For uh, one, the respondent attended the wedding ceremony of the judge and they took a photograph with him. <laughs> In a post on social media, he indicated. <laughs> Yes. We are not here to destroy professions. Discussing some of the details may not be the right thing to say. I think if one to make a reference in a tactical manner, which the negotiation will be able to appreciate for what is going on. Uh, I would respectfully say to you that this is an area where we have also to protect the judiciary. Uh, the judges, uh, the judges, the judiciary officers are not very sure that we should have an in-depth account of what really is what is concerned. Thank you, Dr. Kamina. Let me explain that, my lord. There is a new affidavit that has just come online that contains some of these allegations. It wasn't there before, and that's why we sought. Now, you may proceed. My lord, I, I think I agree with Dr. Kamina that unless, because as I say, it's also very of this information or something that came to my knowledge, that I was sticking to what my learned colleague is talking about unless there is insistence by my learned colleagues. My Lord, I do not see the value of that insistence as for well Dr. Tabinua's position. It is stated in the affidavit. I will not say anything more on that. The respondents can say we can have a rejoinder when we have the issue arises. My Lord, and uh, the problem with these issues of uh, somebody not continuing what they are saying is that you keep forgetting the last point. The last point, my Lord, I think that uh, I was making is this, that at the heart of an application for refusal, the authority speaks themselves, the one we have cited that I may not have time to go through them, is these issues that, I, that, that uh, are considered very important. Number one would be whether on the basis of the accusation and apprehension set up, would one party feel that their right to fair trial before an independent, impartial, and fair tribunal be upheld? The petitioners on that score are saying their rights under Article 50 to fair hearing, which is absolute, would not be possible in the circumstances of this case. Number two, there is a question of the right to protection of law under our constitution. That right to protection of law requires that for it to be protected, there must not be any doubt that that protection would be availed if it is deserved in accordance with the law. The petitioners again say they have reasons to believe as a result of matters taken into account that they are right under Article 27. Lord, the final issue, it could not really have been final, but I have to finish. My Lord, the, the final issue that uh, is critically important for this issue is the old uh, notion, the old principle that justice 
must not only be done, but must actually be seen to be done. In the circumstances of this case, it is our submission that, apart from the real issues that uh, the petitioners have, the weather perceptions, weather substantial issues, the petitioners are saying that your lordships, they are unable to say that at the start of this proceedings, we are confident that these judges are capable of upholding our constitutional rights and to uphold justice equally between us. Lord, we are most observed. Thank you for letting me conclude substantially on what we set out to do. We are most observed. Thank you. My Lord, before the next uh, speaker goes on, I think there is something we are doing and it is not fair to the court. Because my learned friend was challenged by Professor McGay to tell you what is the specific thing. Then they take the posture, uh, assisted by their senior, that uh, we don't want to go there. You cannot eat your cake. The reason they don't want to go there, my lord, is because it is frivolous. Now, the misfortune we have is this. The world is watching these proceedings. They said we don't want to go there. And the typical person watching things, there is something very serious about the integrity of the court that they have raised, when as a matter of fact, going by the list he had begun is that the judge attended the wedding. The judge went to a restaurant. In one of the applications, they said the judge went to some law school. Clearly, we are being unfair to the court. We want to paint a picture hiding and that we don't go there so that the world will be left with the impression that there is something terrible about it. Whose machine is there? There's something wrong somewhere. What? <laughs> 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 